uh, so we can get started on the workout today. Happy Monday, guys. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. It is certainly heating up in LA. Uh, I'm sure it is in elder parts of the country as well. Um, so making sure that we do stay plenty hydrated before, during, and after our workout today, please. Um, today, our workout is partial circuit and partial not circuit. So for the upper body, we're going to do some of our traditional exercises, uh, not in circuit style. And then we're going to do a brief circuit, and then we're going to do a lower body circuit as well. It's going to be slightly more cardio intensive than what we were doing at the end of the last week, because it's important to keep our heart rate up. But with that being said, we've done it before. We can absolutely do it again. We'll go ahead and hop on up to stand. Grab a sip of water if you've not already done so. All right, we're ready. Come on up. So starting to open up the arms. Shrug the shoulders out. If you have not already started your cycle, now would be a great time to do that. And then, so our first three upper body exercises are not a circuit. We're just doing our usual two sets. First set, we're gonna move slightly slower. Second set, we're gonna move a little bit faster. So for the forearms, working smaller muscles first, we're gonna do the, what I call forearm firework. So extending out with the fingers and back in, we've got 40 seconds. Let's go ahead and jump right into that in three, two, and one. We're extending out and in 40 seconds. I like to start these off slow, starting to get the body used to having the bands on, waking everything up, including my brain. But if you want to start fast on your first round, by all means, don't let me stop you. Yeah. Good. Hopefully coming back from our weekend time, somewhat rested and re-energized. Last 13 seconds. Fully extending. And I call these fireworks because I want to see, boom, explosive actions as you open up the palms, reaching out. Good. Six and four, three, two, and one. Quick rest. Shake it out. That's set number one. Let's jump right into our second set. Arms extend out by the sides. 40 seconds. This time we're going fast in four, three, two. Here we go. Out and in. Nice. Good. And as I'm doing this, I'm pulling my shoulders away from my ears and I'm actively reaching my arms away from my body. I'm keeping my arms active in every regard. My core is in, my brain is in. We're diving right into it. Now you got me thinking about building an infrared sauna in my shower. It's just not happening, not today, but maybe sometime. <sighs> Last 15 seconds. Good. After this, we're going to come into our strides, tricep extensions, and then our bicep curls go really fast. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Coming into our tricep extensions, we know these very well. Bending the elbows in, little bend in the knees. First 40 seconds, nice and slow, extending all the way out, letting the arms fall. Extending all the way out. Time is rolling. Let's go for it. And as you extend the arms back behind you, I want you to fully press your pinky finger away from the body. So not just extending out, but also a little press at the top. So extend, press, extend, press. Yeah, there we go. Triceps are those push muscles, pushing something away from your back. Awesome. And George, I got your email about the 1% single leg squat. <laughs> that was awesome, thank you. Last 10. Good. We're gonna pulse it, working into it in five, four, three, and two. Fully extend the arms back, little pulses up. Keep pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. So that's our first second. That was nice and slow. Waking up those muscles this next set. Let's work fast, really firing things up, going full fatigue. If you're not shaky at the end of it, you can probably do a little bit more. Bend into the knees. We're going in three, two, and one. Fast tricep extension. Out, out, out. Push. Yes. There we go. 
Awesome. Good, you can even take a bigger bend in your knees, get even lower, give yourself more opportunity to push as long as your spine is flat, your core is engaged. Awesome. Now we have 10 more seconds. See if you can give me 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool, shrug it out. Next up, let's go right into our bicep extent or bicep extension, bicep curls, nice and slow. 40 seconds, let's move through it. Pull them in, release them down. For these ones, think in for two, down for two. Good. Squeezing the whole time. And I've got little baby biceps. It's <laughs> just the way my body's built. But I have noticed a little bit more width, a little bit more in my biceps just from using the bands and teaching these classes. So that's always fun. Good, up and down. Last 15 seconds, nice and slow. Good. Give me three more for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, next set. Let's give the shoulders a shrug to start. We're moving through these. These are very safe, somewhat familiar moves if you've been doing these workouts a lot. So it's okay to move fast through them. Elbows in, second set in three, two, and one. Bicep curls, I wanna see you go fast. Think one, two, three, four. If you can pop out 40 bicep curls in that 40 seconds, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be proud. If you can do 30 in that time, I'm gonna be proud too, but don't even worry about counting, just move. One, two, one, two. Yes, we're half done. Pump it. Uh, the rest of the body does not move. We are isolating that movement just in our upper arms. Good. Two, one, two. Last 10, nine, eight, seven. Pump it. Six, five, even faster. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Now we're ready to work into our mini second. It is mini second, <laughs> mini circuit. It is 30 seconds of three exercises. The first exercise, I will demonstrate all three of them and then we'll jump into doing the work. So just hang tight for a minute while you watch what happens. The first one, we are familiar with all these. Inchworms, crawl out, crawl in, and jump. We're doing 30 seconds of those. Second 30 seconds, good old bash and push push-ups, down and up, always okay to do them on your knees. Final 30 seconds, military plank, I go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So the breaks in between this are going to be 10 seconds. We're going to go through it three times. So it's really only 90 seconds of work times three. We can definitely do that. It's like four and a half minutes. Okay. At the end of each set, we'll take 30 seconds rest. So walk to the back of your mat or your workspace. Inchworms, 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Walk it out. Walk it in and jump, keep going. Now the goal of this mini circuit is to do AMRAP, which means as many reps as possible. Awesome. Good, this first time we're just getting our body used to doing it. The second and third time we are going to count our reps. Good, last four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds rest, make your way down onto your knees setting ourselves up for push-ups. We're moving in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds push-ups down and up. Now these might be a little bit slower than our inchworms because it's a harder move, but because we're only doing 30 seconds, use this time to push yourself a little bit harder. We don't necessarily have to sustain. Great. Awesome, last 10. Good, five, give me two more, four, three, two, and rest, 10 seconds. Our next move, and then we get a whole 30 seconds rest, is the military plank. I go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Feel free to alternate the arm that you drop down. We're going again in three, two, and one, 30 seconds, military plank. Awesome. Try and do your best to keep your hips from moving. 
So this first round, we're just getting our bodies used to doing the moves. Awesome, good. Last 10. Keep it going, keep it going. We can do it. We get a rest after this. Four, three, two, and rest. Great. Come on up to stand. Shrug it out. So, this next set, I want you to count how many inchworms you do. We're going to take that 10 seconds, toss it into the chat, and then make our way right back down for a push up. If you don't have time to toss the number into chat, don't worry about it. We're only counting for our own records. We're not, it's not a competition. So if you don't feel like sharing, you don't have to share. This is something you feel like doing, okay? So inchworms, counting how many you can do, 30 seconds in four, three, two, and one. Walk it out, walk it in, jump, arms up. Time is rolling. Nice, arms up. Oh my goodness, Jim's about to launch into outer space. He's flying so fast. I love it. Last 10 seconds. Good. Give me four, three, two, and one. If you feel like tossing your number in the chat, you can. Otherwise, just think about it, remember it. <laughs> Good. We're going to make our way down for push ups in four, three, Two and one. 30 seconds push up. Go. Nice. Good. Jeff, let me see an even bigger incline. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Woo, now we're talking. Last 10, five, four, three, two, rest. 10 seconds. I realize this is a lot of numbers to try and remember. If you're memorizing all your numbers, don't worry about it. Good, we're going again in four, three, two, and one. Military plank, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. This is our second round of three. Awesome. Even if it's a slow move, keep going. After this, we have our last upper body round and then we're gonna swap into the leg bands right away. So this is our cardio today. There's no cardio burst. So push, 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 half done. Great. Give me six, five, four, three, and rest. Come on up to stand. If you feel like sharing your numbers, if you can remember them, you can go ahead and toss them into the chat. Otherwise, we're taking our rest, maybe grabbing a sip of water, getting ready for our last round. 90 more seconds of work, and then we have our question of the day. All right. Start to make your way to the back of your workspace. We've got inchworms in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds, walk it out, walk it in, and jump. Time's rolling. Good job, Instagram. Good job, Zoom. Mm -hmm. Already have done, this is our cardio. Go, 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 yes. Now we're talking. Six. Five, give me one more. Four, three, two, and one. Drop down to your knees. Push ups. If you want a push up challenge day, you need an extra variation, do one legged push ups. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Drop down, push up. I'll tell you when we're halfway done if you want to switch the legs. Because why not make things more challenging? <laughs> Good. We're half done if you want to switch leg if you're doing single leg. All 
All right, home stretch. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop on up to stand. Stretch, bring the arm across the body. Switch sides. I'm coming down to my knees just so you can see. Press the base of the palms up, over to the right. Get those shoulders a release. Back through center, over to the left. Back through center, press the base of the palms of your, away from your body for five, four, three, two, and release. Let's swap out our armbands for leg bands. The question of the day is, if you could choose between free clothing for a year or free food for a year, which would you pick and why? And I know my answer is really easy for me, but I'm curious to see what you guys think. I have my hunches. You could pick between free clothing for a year or free food for a year. Which one would you choose and why? Oh, Steve. Steve, you said free food, but you didn't say why. <laughs> I don't buy many clothes. Yeah. <laughs> George says, food, because I'm a replacement shopper and rarely buy clothes. Mm -hmm. Sophia says, clothing, we can't get enough clothes. <laughs> I don't know, some people would be on that train. I mean, clothing, you get whatever you wanted. Jim says, food, definitely more interesting. Mm -hmm. I see Kaziah thinking, contemplating. See what she comes up with. <sighs> I think I know what our boy swimmers would say. Because it says food because I get hand-me-downs that are free. So I've got a lot of answers to this question. Thanks, guys. I love it. All right. Go ahead and put those leg bands on. And get ready and get going in about a minute. Uh, I agree. She says, and me, mine is hands-down food. <laughs> I'm a fitness instructor. I consume a lot more food. This is most of my clothing, so it doesn't cost much. <laughs> and it's what I wear most of the day anyways, especially being in lockdown. You don't need anything besides workout clothes. So yeah, I eat a lot of food. It'd be nice to get that for free. All right, fans are on. Question of the day has been answered. We're gonna do some stretching of the legs and then we're going full circuit for our lower body and then we're going full circuit for our core and I want to make sure that we run through our core twice today because core is my favorite exercise for the body most important in my opinion all right so I'm going to demonstrate our leg moves and then we'll stretch and do them first 30 seconds are jump rope for the calves we know this one well second 30 seconds air squats after that, we have mountain climbers. Then we have ice skaters. And after that, we're coming into plank jacks. Okay. So on that note, we know what's coming. That is our cardio. I don't care how fast you move. You can go slower and work more towards strength or you can move fast and keep your heart rate up as long as you're doing your best to move the whole time. Let's stretch it out a bit. Hands on hips, bending side to side, 30 seconds just to warm everything up. Into the left leg, up through center, into the right leg, and up through center. And this is kind of like a Cossack squat, but today we're doing this just to open up our hips, our hands, strings, and our adductors. Head down and up. And I like to bring my hands together for stability, but do whatever feels good. And last 15 seconds. Good. And five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna roll through this three times. It's five moves, so we've got this. All right, step the feet together. 
first 30 seconds to start to wake up our calves, I'd like you to try and keep your heels off the mat the whole time. Jump rope, ready, set, let's go. Might as well get the arms going as well. And like we've talked about many times, when we're jumping rope, it doesn't have to be up and down. You can jump side to side, you can jump forwards and backwards. You can pogo stiff all over your house for all I care, as long as you're moving, last 10 seconds. Good. We have four, three, two, and 10 seconds rest. Step the feet wide. Our next move is air squat. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Keeping the heels rooted to the floor. 30 seconds, down and up. Good. Right. Great. Nice, Sophie and Sydney, my clothes girls. <laughs> because I am right there with you with the hand-me-downs. My friends give me all theirs too. <laughs> Good. Last five, four, three, two, and 10 seconds rest. Use this time to make your way down onto your floor space. We've got mountain climbers. I want you to do your best to bring your knee to your nose. Use your core in three, two, and one. Come back into plank, 30 seconds, go. Fast, get those knees up, 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 yes. Right. Rolling through the circuit, thinking about it. Half done, keep it up, keep it up. After this, we're coming back up to stand for our ice skaters. Good, last five, four, Three, two, and one. Hop on up, 10 seconds rest. Then we're going ice skaters, side to side. I don't actually care if you touch the ground. Focus on how far you can get the back leg over in three, two, and one. Ice skaters, get low, move fast. Uh, bending into that standing leg, get your butt down. An ice skater is just like a fast curtsy lunge. Good. Now making sure you're keeping your chest up, no rounding off the spine just to get your hand towards the floor. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice job. Great, Jim. See everyone flying across the workspace. George looks great. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Ten seconds. After this, we're coming down for our plank jacks. Make your way down onto hands and knees. Good, three, two, and one. Plank jacks out and in. Do we love these? No, are they good for us? Yes, absolutely. The more frustrating they are, the more you probably can stand to do them because believe it or not, things get easier over time if we just keep doing the work. Yeah, doing your best not to let your butt bob up and down. I know it's hard working into the legs. Plank jacks, last 10. Go all in. After this, we get our 30 seconds rest. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone up to stand. Grab your water. All right, we've gone through it our first time. We only have two more. All right. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Jump rope in three two, and one, hop it out. If your cycle is not going, please reset it. Get off those heels, double tap. <laughs> Side to side, half done. Last 10. Good, double jump, five, four, three, two, and one. Step the feet wide. Next up, we have air squats, big breath. All right, and wrap as many reps as possible. Three, 
two, and one. Here we go. Yes, keep it up. Making sure that your heels stay rooted into the floor the entire time, please. Air spots, get those arms up. Woo, great. After this, we're coming down from Mount Climbers, making sure those arms stay really straight. Think zombie-esque arms. Cool. Last 10. Get your belt lower, keep moving. Seven, six, two more, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down. All right, we've got mountain climbers. In four, three, two, and one. Climb it out. It is only 30 seconds, so go fast. Woo, good, I love it, half done. Boom, 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 knees up, knees up, strong arms. Every part of your body is working. Yes, six, five, all in, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up. We're moving so fast, we can't even think before we keep moving again. Ice skater, three, two, and one, side to side. Get that back knee down to the ground. Tap it, tap it. You don't have to actually tap, but you get the idea, get low. All right, being mindful of our hips and our glutes on our ice skaters, squeezing those muscles in to help control even as we fling our body side to side. Last 10. Good, we're gonna come back down for a plank jack in three, two, and one. Hands to the ground. All right, last round of this set. We are flying through our moves today so much so that we might even be able to do it again. What a great day. Hop back, plank jack, 30 seconds, go. Great. I know that cardio intensive stuff is not the most fun stuff, but it will help us in all of our other life endeavors, whether it be walking upstairs, running on the beach, whatever you might do. Last 10. Jim, amazing. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 30 seconds. Try not to just let yourself sit. So we don't want to build lactic acid up. Keep moving around, whether it's walking, kicking the legs out, grabbing water. And we're gonna go through it again. Because we've had such a strong practice today, we're actually gonna go through it two more times. Ooh, sorry guys. Uh, but after that, we'll do our core and we'll wind down. We're already half done, we can do it. We're coming up again for jump ropes. So start to make your way into your workspace. 30 seconds in four, three, two, and one. Jump rope. And I'm being really strict about only our 10 second rest intervals. So if you're feeling tired, congratulate yourself because you're doing great work. We are moving incredibly fast. And half done. Good. Get a little more hop in that step. There we go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it wide, preparing ourselves. Air squat in four, three, two, let's go. Down and up. I know today is not our most favorite variation of work, but we're getting it done on Monday. So that means we don't have to do it again this week. Ten. Last ten. Come on, come on, come on. We've got it. Let me see. Three more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the floor. Mountain climbers. 
All right, we're going again. Five, four, three, and two. Come it out. Yeah, Sophia and Sydney. These are one of those sweatier days when it's hard and we want to stop and we don't do it. And then we finish and we feel amazing because we did such good work. Half done. Good. Use your core to get those knees even closer in towards your nose. Last eight. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up to stand. Ice skaters. We're going side to side in four, three, two, and one. Doesn't matter if you touch the floor, just stay low, move fast. So you can try and keep your body low the whole time. Get that back knee down. Great. After this, we have plank jumps and our rest and our last round of this. Because I'm evil and I toss in an extra one. All right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Hands to the floor. Last thing are our plank jacks. Come on down. Now, I was seeing a little bit of like this in our plank jacks. Try and keep your hips low. You're just working in the legs. Four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds, go. We are going to be so familiar with these moves by the time we're done. Great, Jeff. Half done. Give me all you got. Go through it. We know we're going to break after this. Ooh, that's 10, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 30 seconds rest. Try and hop up to stand, kick the legs out, find some kind of movement. Water, slow the breathing down. All right. Last one. So during this last round, I'm gonna be offering some little tweaks you can make to make these moves harder, should you choose to partake. So we know the moves really well now. We've done them three times. Now in the fourth time is where we have the opportunity to challenge our bodies a little bit more with some variations. So first one, jump rope. The variation is one-legged, okay? So we can try 15 seconds on one foot. We're going in three. Two and one. You can either do double leg jump rope or one legged. And believe me, you jump on one foot for long enough, it's gonna get really tired. Good. Last six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Jump rope, other foot. Should you choose to, you can also do the normal way. Doesn't matter to me. Good. Last six, five. Four, three, two, and one. So the next one is air squats. Should you want to choose, you can squat, lift, squat, lift, side to side. Okay? We're going in four, three, two, and one. Either air squats or lift. Mm hmm. Ah, as you lift that leg up, bring your knee all the way up towards your elbow. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. For this variation of mountain climbers, we've done a version of this before. If you want to do normal, you can do normal, or you can do knee to elbow tap, up, up, up. So it's a Spider-Man mountain climber. Take your way down. We're going in four, three, two, 30 seconds. Go. Option to take normal mountain climbers or Spider-Man mountain climbers. Up, 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 up. Mm 
Yeah. Oh, excited pumping. I know we're tired, but we're doing it. We're climbing that mountain. Last 10. All in, all in. We know we get to come up and stand after this. Give me everything you've got. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up. Woo! Ice skaters. If you want a harder variation of this, when you jump side to side, don't step your foot, hover. Hover, hover, okay? So instead of tapping it back, we're working through it, okay? Four, three, two, and one. Either regular ice skaters or ice skater hover. And if you're taking the hover, use your balance, not flinging your body weight around to keep that foot off the floor and you know the difference. Are we falling side to side? Or are we hovering that leg, engaging our muscles to keep it up there? Yes. Awesome. Half done. Woo. That's a Monday. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last up. If you want a variation for your plank jacks, you can do a snap jump plank jack. So instead of just out in, you go up, back, out, in. Up, back, out, in. Your choice. 30 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Last move of the lower body. Let's power through it. Oh, we're going for it. I see it. I should call these pogo hop plank jack. Amazing. Keep it up. Don't stop now. Last 10. After this, we're going to pop up to stand and quick back. English, take a quick pause. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, everybody up to stand. Let your heart rate slow down. Walk around. Kick it out. Whew. All right. Take a gaze at your screen for our next set of moves. The first 30 seconds are side plank hip dips. Don't let your hips touch the floor the whole time. I hover down, up, down, up. I have 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. After that, I'm doing what I call star reach through. My legs are wide. I roll up, reach my arms through my legs, come back down. Well, up and reach, come back down. 30 seconds of that. We're going through it three times because the core is oh so important and we don't always get it a, give it a whole lot of love. My brain is working faster than my mouth today. Start to make your way over onto your left forearm. Make sure your elbow is underneath your shoulder. 30 seconds, forearm plank dips. We're going in five, four, three and two, hips up and hover, up and hover. Good, if it's too much, you can always do it with one knee on the ground, but try not to. And these don't have to be fast. I'd rather you move slow and control. As you guys hear me say a lot of the time. Good, side forearm plank, hip pulses. Mm -hmm. Last 10, then we're gonna go right into the other arm. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Use the 10 seconds to make your way over onto your other side. Check to make sure elbow is underneath shoulder. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Forearm plank, hip dips. Working our obliques, the sides of the waist. All right. And as I do these, I'm imagining that I'm pushing my bottom arm away from my body to help gain traction to get my hips up. Up. Good. Last 10. Then we're going to make our way onto our back. Yeah. Hips up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone flop down. Go full star position. Bring your hands together. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, roll up to sit, reach through. Good, 30 seconds. We come down, we come up. 
Yes. Good. Try and get your whole spine off the floor. Half done. After this, we take our rest and we'll come back into our forearm plank. Five, give me one more. Four, three, two, and rest. Ooh, you can hang it on your back for this one. All right. <laughs> Good. Take a couple deep breaths. Feel the rise and fall of the chest. Allow your breath to deepen. Allow it to slow down for a moment. And then start to make your way over onto your left side. Root the forearm into the mat. Good. Take the hips up and off the floor. 30 seconds. Side forearm plank, hip dips. We are going down and up. And it's always amazing to me that some people, not naming anyone here, not even calling anyone here out, just things I notice in general, is that a lot of people can lift really heavy weight, but they have trouble doing this move, and really we're just supporting the weight of our own bodies. So there's just something to keep in mind here. How can you work with what you've got? Supporting our own weight. Good. Last 10. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Make your way over onto the other arm. They get hard. They get really hard. The first two, you're like, cool. And then you're like, ah. <laughs> All right. Up again. Four, three, two, and one. Other side. Hips up and down. If you want more of a challenge, reach your top arm up to the ceiling. Slightly harder is feet are stacked. Slightly easier, feet are staggered. So use that as a tool to adjust how you might need to. 10. Then we're making our way onto our backs for star reach throughs. We have a rest and one more round. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! But we're not fully resting. Spread those legs out. Reach those arms up and back. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, roll up, reach your arms through your legs, get all the way off your spine. Time is rolling. Nice. Oh, Kazai, I love it. <laughs> is it kind of silly flinging your legs around like that? Yes, yes, but it's so good for our core. Oh, there we go. Look at these. Now we're firing. Good job, Instagram, as well. We're already half done. Good. See if you can do two more really good ones that make them super good. We're going to let go of time for a moment. We've done a lot of things on the interval. Last one. And rest on your back. Pull your knees into your chest. We've got our last round after this. Uh, all right, final round. This time, make your way over onto your right side. We'll start with the opposite side. And because it's our last round, I'm going to give you an additional challenge for these moves. So for the forearm plank, hip dips, option to come onto your hand, stacking your feet, hips all the way down, all the way up, all the way down all the way up your choice if you want to take the variation i think it's a little bit harder okay so whichever one you choose we're going in three two and one start working through it and i want you to do your best especially if you're on your hands to really work through that range of motion get the hips all the way onto the floor contract the side of the waist get your hips up all the way down to the floor all the way up Last 10. Four, three, two, and one. Make your way over onto your left side. You can either do forearm plank or hand. 
Last set of these. Go ahead and make your way up. Time is rolling. Great. We're already half done. A little bit of balance involved in here as well. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So for this last move, if you want more of a challenge, you're going to roll back, roll up, reach, pull, two, one, and down. Roll up, pull, three, two, one, roll down. If you want an extra challenge, all right? Otherwise, just rolling up and rolling down. Time is going. Last work of the day, 30 seconds. Go for it. And that little pulse at the top, challenging our deepest core muscles. It is really hard to stay up. Come on, come on, last 10 seconds. Don't stop now. We're gonna meet on our backs in five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone pull your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Circle the knees around one way, really drawing them in, getting into the hips, getting into the back. Circle them around the other way. And then start to rock and roll up and down along the spine until you get up, come up to sit, sit hamstring stretch. Ooh, sink a little bit deeper into it. Relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Pull up to sit. And then one more time, start to reach your arms back behind you. Imagine you have a cape leading with your belly button folds even deeper as you pull your shoulders away from your ears. Good. And we'll pull this into it for five. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up, reach up, hands come together. Give yourself a round of applause. Nice job. So that was our jumpy, bouncy, fast-paced cardio stuff. We've done it this week. We will still have some cardio incorporated, but it won't be every day. So we got that done with. Good job, gang. Thank you.